Hello and welcome to another video. Um, I did try recording this yesterday, but uh, when I went to like put the intro and outro in, in Windows Movie Maker, Windows Movie Maker went and saved there and then corrupted the video, so I have to record this again. Um, but one upside to that is that I know what I want to say. Anyway, so Phantoms. They are literally the worst mob in Minecraft. They are the only mob that I would say legitimately should be removed in their current state. They are nothing but an annoyance anymore. Like when they were originally introduced, um, they were mildly useful. Um, the phantom membranes that they dropped would uh, um, repair Elytra, which at that point in time was uh, the only way you could repair Elytra without a second Elytra, which, um, you know, is, you know, using phantom membranes is a much more um desirable uh thing than going to the end and getting another elytra which are very rare um and uh, um before uh, phantom membranes you would repair them with leather so it's just like it just kind of made uh elytra a little bit more difficult to repair um but it was still better than going to the end but um the biggest problem is if you like to build then you know, and the, the, you have like a... Right, so if I'm building somewhere, the first... Mm, sorry, voice crack. The first thing I do is light up the area to make sure no mobs spawn so I can build during the night. But with phantoms, you can't do that. So they just like, kind of get annoying during the night because they force you to sleep and it's just a bit of time wasted and it's just annoying. So nowadays they're just annoying because mending uh, was introduced like one or two updates later uh, after the phantoms so uh, mending is now the preferred way of repairing elytra so um when uh, talking about the phantoms i was thinking just like how could i make them useful the phantom membranes nowadays are only really used for slow falling potions and that's Really, like the only that the only time I've ever really seen someone legitimately use a slow falling potion was Drian. So yeah, most people don't use um, slow falling potions. So the question now is: so what do we do with the phantom uh, to make them more useful? So what I was thinking was, um, oh fuck, that fell off. That's a pain in my butt. Um, I need to check the thing to make sure I'm in shot. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I'll sort that out later. Um, anyway. So. Um, yeah. I, I was thinking um we buff the phantoms themselves by making it uh I, they, so if you didn't know they have a sweeping attack where they come in really quickly and hit you but then they have sort of a slow like medium slow uh, ascent um which makes them vulnerable to attack so uh speed up their ascent uh to make it harder to kill them um and also improve their AI. So as you can see with these phantoms up here, uh, they're just flying directly into the roof. Uh, the AI should be improved so that they know if there's a block above them, and then if there is a block above them, they just won't fly into that block and will instead fly down and just like uh, try and find a way around the blocks above them so they can fly up again. Um, because phantoms just get stuck way too easily. Like, um, legitimately, I was I was just like in my survival world, and uh, my roof on my house has a slight overhang, like literally a one block overhang, and the phantom got stuck on that. Um, so, yeah, improving the phantom AI, making them a little bit more difficult to kill, maybe buff their damage or something, maybe give them a unique move rather than just having them swoop in, like maybe a more ranged attack. Um, and also, I was thinking making them a lot rarer because right now they're just a pain in the ass. You don't sleep for like one night, and then you've got like phantoms on your ass, and then it's just they're just annoying. So make them rarer. Make it so uh, that they won't start appearing until 
um, you know, like you having sex for five nights in a row or something like that. And uh, uh, then when they start to do appearing, it's like only one or two, and you have to like sleep for a while for there to be more than just like one or two phantoms per night uh, spawning. Um, so this was this would uh, solve that problem with them um, just um, being an annoyance when building during the night. Um, and it would also mean that um, it would make the the phantom membranes a bit more valuable. But um, also, I was thinking, okay, I fucking give up with the webcam. Um, so also, I was thinking of making the phantom membranes able to, in this pattern, craft a fan a a light for win wing. So. Uh, it makes sense because if uh, if you're able to repair elytra with phantom membranes, then you should be able to craft uh, elytra using phantom membranes. But um, yeah, so you just like craft them like this. You get a elytra wing, and then you use uh, two elytra wings in the crafting table to get an elytra. Now, uh, also, I don't know how many they drop right now, but maybe have like phantoms only dro drop zero to two. Um, you know, phantom membranes, and that means if you have really good luck, that's like three phantoms per wing, so six phantoms per elytra. And with the uh, with uh, with phantoms not spawning um, as much, and with the you know, and again, you could also get zero. Phantom membranes from some of them is just like, I think this would uh, definitely make it so that um, it's not too easy to get Elytra, uh, but um, it's not too difficult. And then you could, um, you know, have the Elytra in the end uh, ships uh, have enchantments. So maybe there's like, oh, there's a 10% uh, chance they have uh, an, a level of unbreaking. Or and a like two percent chance they have mending on them, um, which would make uh, the elytra in the end cities more valuable. And uh, uh, you know, it's just like a butter elytra themselves as well, like sort of because elytra aren't super powerful. They're just a they're just a really good way of traveling uh, long distances without you know, say a blue ice path. Um, so yeah, and they're only really good that good when you have a um, gunpowder farm, uh, so which can only be get to, gotten by a gas farm, a creeper farm, or a mob farm. And out of those three, options, since your best option for gunpowder is gas farm, your best option for loot is just um, mob farm. So if you want some loot with your gunpowder, you can do that. But yeah, this is how I think the phantoms and phantom membranes should be updated because they really need like they either need updating so that they're uh, um you know more useful and you know not a complete waste of data or they just need removing from the game like seriously phantoms are just the worst anyway um i'll see you guys in the next video Sorry about the webcam, don't know why it keeps on falling off, like it was there all night last night and like the entire day yesterday and just like for the past few days it's just been sat there and for, for no reason right now it just decides to fall off. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video, bye bye.